Hi there, welcome back to the ClickSense tutorial and in this tutorial video we will look at the ClickSense X NPV function and as per its definition it returns the aggregated net present value for a schedule of cash flow that is not necessarily periodic and represented by the pair numbers in PMT and date and its syntax is XNPV it needs and it needs discount rate PMT and date so this is its requirement and we will see both in the back end and in the front end how we can utilize this so let's go to the back end and over here we have a very simple data set as you can see we have the year and uh, we have the information of uh, different dates discount and payment right so let's see how we can create the the x n p v or how we can implement the x n p v in the back end so let's give it uh, um x n p v the table name itself and we will create uh, the load statement load um and in that we need year in the year we need x n p v after that uh, we need to provide a discount rate let's say 0.2 or 20 percent is a discount rate then we need to specify the payments which is nothing but this P A Y M E N T S payments and then the date right these are the date and that will calculate our X N P V underscore 2013 and we need to give a reference to this table resident cash flow and group by year that is it that's what you need if 20 percent by 20 percent discount you want to create calculate the xnpv so save it load it and see it in the front end all right add the dimension which is here and one more dimension because we have already calculated xnpv so the value is dollar two one zero four point nine three seven that's your xnpv value for the year 2013 all right now uh, one thing uh, before i move ahead and to be much more dynamic way what you can do is you can also calculate it in the front end by clicking on the measure go into the expression editor and uh, say x n x n n p v now discount rate is 0.2 and we have second as a payments and state all right click apply you will get a similar output so in both the way you can calculate the only thing is in the front end you get much more flexibility with the set analysis where you can do the wonders and if you don't know about this you should watch my previous set analysis videos because it is must all right now um, what i want to do is uh, in the data instead of this dynamic i want discount to be part of this dynamic value so let me give the discount over here so xnpv discount payments and date so this way it will calculate both 0.1 and 0.2 so i'll save and load the data okay so now i know why it is uh, giving us an error i need to make this discount as part of this calculation and need to say group by by year and discount it should be good all right close analysis and in 2013 if i just take in this table the dimension which is discount so over here i just drag it up and beside to year so for 2013.1 if it is 10 percent discount then what is the value if in 2013 20 percent is a discount then what should be the value so this way as you can see uh, you can have it but as you can see in the front end it has taken it by default because in the front end calculation happens dynamically and that is what i meant that if you want a static values you can keep it as part of your backend calculation but if it needs to be dynamic like this in this case uh, 
the different discount rates then you can keep it as part of the uh, front end the only uh, downside of this is it will do the calculation in the runtime and that will sometimes uh, degrade the performance so as and where possible keep it as part of the backend calculation so that's about it for xnpv financial function and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic